Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Hello Sagittarius and Sag cross watchers. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Um, and again, the cross watcher or the person of interest. Um, this is your September readings. So that means we've already done August. If you haven't seen August, go ahead and catch up. Let's go ahead and get into this for September. Readings are, of course, timeless, as we know, but we really want to try and zone in on the energy of September. Click that upside down triangle below. It's going to bring up the description page here on YouTube. All of my info is there. Like I said, that first link is for my website. Um, I also have my Patreon link in there, too, if you want to follow me there. I have exclusive content there you can't find anywhere else, like my erotic tarot readings and some other bonus ones. Um, also on my website, saltwaterhistarot.com, I'm taking pre-orders for my two newest moon waters, the Protection Sage one, as well as my Cloud Nine, which is to help you feel like you're on Cloud Nine and feel very just calm and, you know, joyful and blissful. And, dun, 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 my newest Lilith Wild Divine Fire Bracelet made with red jade and black onyx. I'm taking pre-orders for those too. All right, Sag, and you guys are fire, you know, so that's fiery energy with the red jade too. And so I went all off about it on that reading that I did today on live on Instagram, but we talked about it as well in the um, special love reading that I did today on YouTube. So, and look, as a lot of us are sort of igniting again, right? Our life force is being sort of turned back on. So here you guys have Sag, fire. You guys know all about fire, huh? You have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And you have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Feels like a lot of you guys here might have found yourself in relationships or connections where there's more of a friendship vibe. It's almost funny because it's like you are fire, but it's missing fire. Bottom of the deck, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. <sighs> the odd couple. Wasn't your guys' last reading the odd couple? I think it was. It was either you or Aries. The odd couple. It's not your usual type. It doesn't happen the way you would normally think. Not the kind of person you would normally date. Something about that energy. But yeah, keep an open mind, huh? All right, Sag. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs. Three came out at once. Five of Pentacles. Feeling of abandonment. Seven of Wands. Someone here is... Oh, and the Moon Secrets. Oh. Moon is Pisces, but it's secrets. It's also emotions. You know what's so funny too? Soon as this moon card came out and the seven of wands, that card of blocking, being defensive, right? Fighting it off. I, I also just felt like that energy as well too. We're like, now I feel like there's a wall. There's a block. Are you hard to read? Are you blocking your energy? Did your feelings turn off because it's more of a friendship vibe? But you're afraid to get out of this relationship or this job because you don't want to leave someone? Or you don't want to be alone? Could this be feelings of abandonment, right? Codependency? Someone here has been blocking an exit and therefore prolonging a new beginning because the end or this exit must happen first before this new beginning, but someone has been blocking an exit. They've been blocking an ending. <sighs> Why do we do what we do when we do when it's in a, not with no curfew? Uh, I don't know why we do what we do sometimes, but we do. Page of Wands. Someone here is like got a change in perspective. Something's caught their interest. That also can be a younger fire sign, but something's caught their interest. They, they feel sort of inspired. 
someone who feels inspired again. Oh, Queen of Pentacles, being very grounded and rooted. She's also very, very good with her coins. She's building. This could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, but she is holding an offer. I heard a nest egg. So I don't know if someone gives you money. I don't know if, if, if it's just you're building a nest egg. Oh my God, look at that. There's a nest egg. Someone could give you money. You might inherit money. You might win money. This is, Ace of Pentacles is always a card of moving and career change as well, but it also symbolizes a blessing coming in from the side. Abundance in maybe money, maybe different, you know, love opportunities. Many people want to take your hand. Many people want to commit. Whatever it is, she's sitting there with it. She's sitting there with this. Face of Wands. Someone reaches out. This can also be some kind of big new new development, right? Something exciting and new. A shift in... It's almost like someone shifted their sails. They adjusted their sails. You ever heard that term? So it's a, a new direction. Someone... This feels like they adjusted their sails. It's a whole new direction someone's going in. Someone here might realize this relationship or job is over. It doesn't make me happy. It's not what I really want. There's no, there's no fire. There's no magic. There's no chemistry. And finally makes that tough choice to do what they should have done a long time ago. Especially if you're in a connection and you're like, well, but we're friends. Well, motherfucker, is that what we're supposed to do? We have friends for a reason. You don't want someone to be a friend in place of your lover. And then you're bummed out and sad because... You, you don't have that fulfillment in the lover department. You have the world, angel of success, but this means somebody's completed something huge. A congratulations is in order. You graduated, you got the promotion, you ended that fucking horrible toxic relationship. See that? The world is completion. Seven of swords, theft, and the ace of pentacles again. Someone here may have been sucking you dry. Someone here may have been a taker, 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 and they didn't give you shit. Ace of Pentacles, again, it's the card of, of, of all this abundance coming in, whether this is new opportunities in work and business and career, or if this is in love. Seven of Swords is stuff. I'm telling you, somebody here sucked you dry. They could have been energy vampires. They may have sucked you dry of energy. Someone here it may be also it was threatened and their partner said, if you leave me, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take everything. People do really horrible things when they're not high vibed and when they are coming from a place of anger or sadness. They do really horrible things. Ten of wands, burdens. The burden here is that something is on someone's chest. Something is, is expired, but they're hanging on to this. The burden needs to be released and let go of. Seven of Cups choices. The universe wants to gift you with all these different choices here. They want to give you all of these different options. But how can they if there's no fucking room? Oh, great fortune. Look at that. The abundance is going to come in. I mean, it's going to be like a fucking floodgate opens high honor someone here you were the counterpart people look up to them they may have like i don't know they they may have their name on the wall maybe they're some someone that people look up to they have this honorable energy about them they do the right thing some of them they could actually be military right because you see this is sort of like being at war in the military uniformed they take honor seriously. This person, this is why if they said I do, they're going to, they, they tried their best to work through this energy and stay even if there was no magic or fireworks because they felt like that was the right thing to do. They do the honorable thing. It's a man of honor. We've channeled that before. And I don't know if it was your specific sign that we did, but we definitely channeled man of honor before. Always wanting to do the right thing. Yeah, the masculine, the main male. Always wanting to do the right thing. Wanting to do what's best for everyone. Expectation. They wanted to do what the world expected of them. That's what they did of their mother and their father. Mother and father expected them, hey, if you're going to get married and have children, you better stay with the bitch. 
We expect you to have this job. We expect you to be a doctor or a lawyer. We want you to take over the family business. There was some kind of huge burden. The burden could have been that as well for some. That people wanted you to be something that you didn't want to be. Having to do what people wanted you to do. And realizing like, yo, I don't want that. I don't want that job. I don't want to be married anymore. I'm not happy and neither are they. Reconsider. Yeah, so there is a change of mind here and get more information. So something that someone may have shut off and said hell no to, they're now reconsidering this option or offer and doing more, getting more information on it, maybe researching it. And then you have a yes, exclamation mark. So after great consideration, the answer is yes. Yes, within the next few months. Ooh. Fall. Fall going into winter. Big changes fall going into winter. All right, you guys, let's roll into your extended. Again, if you want to rent it, click that upside down triangle below. It's going to be in the September extended readings in your um in my in my on my website in saltwaterhillstarot.com. Um, and again, don't forget if you want to pre-order my newest Lilith bracelet or my Magic Moon Waters, it's also on my website. If you want to book a session with me, the only ones I am accepting are emergencies, $200 for 30 minutes. Um, I'm not doing any others because I'm still trying to catch up, okay? All right, so thank you. I'll see you guys in your extended. Love you.